is just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. By a majority vote, the Pikeville City Commission approved an updated ordinance for dilapidated housing and nuisance property. The new ordinance brings the city in line with guidelines approved this year by the state legislature for those types of properties. The new ordinance also establishes a code enforcement board and the position of a hearings officer. Assistant City Manager Sean Cochran said the new ordinance will make it easier for citizens to deal with citations for environmental violations. And that's what the new ordinance really does is it creates that process um, and streamlines it in such a way to where it's it's not cumbersome on someone if they feel like you know they, they want to make an appeal on a citation. So it, it'll make it much easier on those people who um, would want to appeal a citation, and then also it makes it as far as record keeping and things go on our side, and it makes makes things a lot more efficient. Cochran also said the new ordinance will give additional time for city residents to remedy violations before a fine is assessed. Now seven days, where they previously only had three days. No, as far as uh, enforcement goes, this is actually, this new ordinance is going to help both uh, the citizens and, uh, and the city. Uh, it makes the, the process far more efficient for, uh, uh, for not only the, the enforcement, but also then for the citizens. Um, as far as appeals processes and things like that go, this, this just makes everything flow much smoother, much more efficient both ways. The new ordinance was approved by the commission, with only City Commissioner Josh Huffman voting against the measure. After being published in the Appalachian News Express, the new ordinance will become law in the city. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.